Ah, John Menton. CTU supports it. I mean, I think one of the things we have to do is to build a constituency and credibility around some of these these um, measures that really require a global reaction. And by definition, a Tobin tax or financial transaction tax works best if everyone's throwing sand in the wheels and if everyone's clipping the ticket rather than just some. But the momentum is moving in favour of it. And uh, in the wake of you know, what is a continuing global financial crisis, governments at a policy level are struggling to find forms of intervention that, that can rein in the financial sector and the incredible damage that's done to, the, to people's lives and the productive economy. So we support it, but I think we also need to build credibility for it. And I think one of the problems we've got is that because this country is two-tenths of 1% of global GDP, we often find it a bit hard to imagine that we can do much to change our relative position in, in uh, the global economy um, on our own. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't be on board emerging trends around forms of intervention and new forms of taxation. It's not quite my area, but I, I certainly... Uh, I think there's a whole bunch of uh, things we can do, and that might be one of them. And uh, I, I would see it has its role as well. Um, I'd agree with Peter Conway's view. Um, there are other areas of tax that are important. Capital gains tax um, is probably waiting in the in the wings to be brought up again. Um, so I think. Um, a Tobin tax is, is one element of a broader discussion. Olivia Blanchard, when we were talking to him, who's the head, of, head economist of the IMF, said the problem with capital flows is they're too efficient. We need to pour sand into them. So you're on the right track. It's just a matter of how the global financial economy is brought into line to support the real economy. I think that issue around sand in the gears um, is an important one practically, but I don't know how many of you know that the New Zealand currency is traded more in a single day than the total annual goods and services trade. It's some 400 times. If we taxed it at half a percent, it would raise more than GST. Have I got your attention, politicians? You know, half a percent would raise more than GST. And it would basically push out of New Zealand all of that micro trading that's going on now, two or three pips in either direction. And by having that dead zone by some sort of control would be useful. But echoing what Peter said and Selwyn, it's likely to come out of Europe first. And if it comes out of Europe, then it might be a very good bandwagon to jump on. 